non-invasive approach for cavitated lesion. For GV black, we have class 1 and class 2. What about non-invasive approach for cavitated lesion as in the modern concept? It started with the cares removal. Then you can perform a minimal cavity design and restore with an adhesive restoration. Cares removal, minimal cares removal can use air operation, sono operation, laser, chemomechanical methods, or ART. The air operation device and the cavity prepared with the pair. Four, the conventional method we use a carbide or stainless steel pair, but nowadays there is smart pair, which concentrated to remove only the carious dentine and not removing other sound dishes. The use of laser prepared by laser. Mechanical cares removal means we have a chemical agent and we use an instrument to remove. The most commonly used Caridax, Carisol, and Papacarin. This is a Carisol, Caridax, Carisol materials, which is red in color, added to the tooth structure. They soften the carious dentine, remove the final cavity without any. Carious legion. This is a carine. Applying solutions, get turbid, remove with a special an instrument, reapply till the cavity is clear. Some of the papers said that it is efficient method for carious removal but takes a longer time. You have to remove the carious legion with the hand and instrument, then to restore with aesthetic restoration, especially glass enamel. Now they, STF silver diamide fluoride or the smart restoration is available to be applied to the carious legion, either to use the silver diamide fluoride alone or with the ART. Minimal cavity design. Minimal cavity design include small proximal box, Preparation, it means to access the proximal decay, but you have to preserve the marginal reach. It requires experience to reach the scariest legion and to remove, and then to restore the station. This is a tunnel preparation. I access from the distal fossa to remove all the carious legion, keeping the marginal reach, then to restore with adhesive restoration tunnel preparation. preparation. To perform a tunnel preparation, I have, I should have a sufficient bulk of the marginal reach, not less than 2.5 millimeter. If it is less than this, you have to perform a slot preparation. It looks like the proximal box, but without any definite rules. Slot preparation in D, lower D, upper E, you have to make two axes to the carious legion only to make a spot cavity. Spot cavities. This is summary. This is a slot. This is a proximal box with definite wall. This is a usual class 2 cavity preparation. As called the class 3 cavity preparation, the same as the permanent teeth. You have to follow the outline, which is triangular in shape. The buccal and lingual wall should be parallel to the external surface. The gingival teeth seat should be slightly inclined closely and the depth of the cavity not more than 0.5 mm. If you have a closed contact, you can prepare a palatal, you can prepare. Take indirect approach for the carious legion from the palatal surface. You can Perform a dovetail that facilitates access to the carious legion. These dovetails may be placed on the labial surface for the mandibular incisor or the palatal surface for the maxillary incisor. This is class 3. Class 3. Mattressing and application of aesthetic restoration. Class 4. 
which involve the incisal of the proximal surface of the anterior teeth. Sometimes the care is so ex extensive and sometimes it is very superficial. Once it is very superficial, you can make disking, then apply fluoride. If moderate, you have make an aesthetic restoration. If it is extensive, you have to perform an aesthetic crowns. Strap crown. Plus five cavity preparation, the same as the permanent teeth with a shallower depths and no need to bevel the margins. Plus five. In a summary, between the surgical model and the medical model for the cavity design, the same principles access and the old concept or the in the surgical model, gaining access to the cavity and the prepare outline to the standard prepare the cavity to the standard outline. While for the modern concept, we gain access to the caries legion only, remove the caries only, and plan the final outline. The same for the outline for extension. No extension for prevention in the modern concept, but there is an extension of prevention for the surgical model or GV black concept. For the retention, the old concept or the conventional model depend on the macromechanical convergence of the wall, the tails, and the cut axial groove. While in the modern concept, the micromechanical means of retention based on itching and bonding, beveling. In a summary, if you have an uncavitated lesion, for the surgical approach, not differentiate between the non-cavitated or cavitated lesion, and you have to perform the sex classes identified. While non-cavitated lesion in the medical model can be treated with fluoride application, remineralizing agent, or resin infiltration. Cavitated lesion also in the modern concept, we can make a minimal cavity design. Preventive resin restoration, tunnel, slot, spot, ART, SDF, or SMART. For caries removal, usually we use the carbide or diamond pair. For medical model, Use a smart pair, chemomechanical case removal, laser air abrasion, restorative material in the medical model, all and adhesive restoration, which depend on the micromechanical means of retention. Just to tell about whole technique nowadays available and too much evidence recommending its use. It is indicated mainly. For proximal caries legion, cavitated or non-cavitated, occlusal caries legion, can remove the decay, select a crown, fill with adhesive or any cement, then insert the crown, ask the patient to bite or Restorative materials for pediatric dentistry. We have to wait between amalgam, composite, or other aesthetic restoration. In case of gross caries breakdown, restoration after pulp therapy, a full coverage, like stainless steel crowns or veneer to crown, is essential. Selection of the restorative materials depends on so many factors. It may be related to the child, like the child age, cooperation, physical and systemic condition, socioeconomic status oral hygiene performance, and oral habit. If the child has like a proxies, it's better to use a full coverage rather than any restoration. Factor related to the tooth itself, the life expectancy of the tooth. The tooth is about to shed or still have a time. The form of the tooth and degree of calcification. Size and the condition of the remaining coronal portion. Vitality of the tooth. If the tooth is non-vital or have a pulp therapy, you have to make a full coverage. Size of the lesion and its extension. 
chance of lynching? It's better to, to use an aesthetic restoration, whether direct or indirect, to reinforce the remaining two structure. Here, with the use of each bond, then you have to build the two structure and finally restore to the normal shape function. Factor related to the oral cavity, including the caries risk, moisture controls. Full aesthetic restoration depends on the moisture control. If you can't make a proper moisture control, it means you go into a failure of the material. The occlusion, factor related to the material itself, property, biocompatibility, adhesion, ease of manipulation, anti cariogenic property, and the cost. Summary of the question this may be in this chapter. What are the differences between class 2 cavity preparation between primary and permanent? What are the principles of the SISTA concept? Enumerate non-invasive approach for non cavitated lesion. What are the non-invasive approach for cavitated lesion? Enumerate non-invasive methods for case removal. What are the factors affecting the selection of your restorative materials? Which type of matrix is suitable for the primary teeth? By the end of this lecture, you can be able to answer all these questions. Thank you for your attention.